Big Carolina Roots setting up a few of these bags. Pure cocoa core. I'm just uh, throwing them in. I got it sort of a soil mix right there already. Just adding little by little. I used to get upset when I drop it everywhere. Figure I was wasting money, but you're using so much soil that uh, it really don't matter. And whatever drop on the ground, you're eventually going to use it, you know. Whether I dig up this walkway and uh, put it in the bed or you know, I eventually use it somehow. She got a nice little scoop. Alright. Try to always reuse everything, even this little, well that's the end of a shovel, but uh, I use it as a little scooper whenever I need to. Yeah, just taking a look at everything, I'm going to have to rake this back out and make some new beds because all those uh, okra, all those took a hit and they're dead. That's the banana, I was able to cover that up night but um it just got a little too cold for it you know and that's that's dying back but it, it's gonna definitely come back yeah a good bit of stuff took a hit uh it's supposed to be a hardy kiwi which it is but um i was supposed to get it inside because i know from the first frost it died back a little bit and i cut it back to right there but uh yeah, I should have just got down on inside and they'd be doing a lot better. I'm pretty sure it'll come back, but now, you know, it's going to be a slow season. So, yeah, got tomatoes. Now I'll just replant. But a lot of the cold hardy stuff did a lot better. Yeah, persimmons, a little bit of that died back. And, yeah, and all the peaches and plums, they did pretty good. I know I lost a little bit of fruit on the plums. There might be a few. I was picking them off. Yeah, right there. If you can see that. That little, little one right there. That's it. It'll die back and just kind of shrivel up. And I take those off just to not waste any energy. I want all the energy to go to the good fruit. And when you got little dead stuff like this trying to hang on. That'll just uh, slow it down. So I'm gonna be going through that and picking those off. Got a little dive back here and there, but good thing a lot of these root stalks are cold hardy with that uh, mandarin. Walk over there. Excuse me, this is that Suma mandarin from uh, McKenzie's farm. It's just doing way better than some of the citrus it's got a little die back yeah, that one's got some die back but for the most part it's holding on to those buds and it's looking pretty good that lime quart it's coming back but it took a harder hit i think it's uh only cold hardy to 30 degrees when these are cold hardy to lower i, I think 20. my lemon is just doing great Looking good. Ponderosa lemon, it just got this new growth. So yeah, I knew that was gonna be an issue. Cause that fresh new growth, it's got too much water in it. And uh, when you gotta freeze, you, you're definitely gonna lose it. The figs, the figs, that's uh, again, a leaf that has a lot of water in it. You're gonna end up losing, cause you hear that? like almost a tissue so and if you look at a peach that's a pretty I guess peach, peaches is this different all together because those leaves it might take a hit but they feel pretty good those cuttings probably gonna do pretty good 
see what else took a hit. That mulberry, I gotta get that in another pot. Mulberry took a nice hit. The grape, oh yeah, man. But, it's gonna come back. I know the vegetables, those, I guess those can come back, but you know, the time you spend in them, you can just plant a new one and have, you know, quicker, more vigorous growth. So, yeah, I'll just replant the tomatoes and all that small stuff. The bushes and berries, they like a little bit of the cold weather. That's pretty much it. I know these cuttings back here, they probably like that. I guess, uh... It'll be like, I don't know how to explain it. It's the cooler weather, but well, this is a greenhouse kind of effect. But the cooler weather just kind of keeps the moisture together in the stem, I guess. It gives it a little bit more structure. When it's hot, the moisture's ready to leave out and, you know, the, the water's trying to go somewhere. But when it's cool, it's just staying still. And all those cuttings look good. You got that uh, condensation up top, letting you know it's working. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to rake this out, fill up the rest of these bags and get them ready. But I ain't going to plant nothing in them until, you know, next week when uh, it's definitely a little warmer and I ain't going to lose anything. But well, at least I ain't going to plant no uh, warm weather crops. Might do some cool weather, whatever, you know, cool weather I could do. Yeah, y'all take it easy, and I'm going to catch you next time.